Mi amor, estas cosas que dejan aquí en la esquina son las propias. Esas cosas que siempre dejan Esta maleta y cosas, siempre dejan cosas. Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Let's see who do we have here. Vamos a ver a quién tenemos por acá. Let me check this. So let's get ready. Here we have Guillermo, Susi, Daniel, John, and Rivas. Let's wait a little bit. Vamos a esperar un poquito más mientras se conecten el resto.
let's see if we can start um, with the class. This is the class number seven, unit number two. So uh, let's see if Guillermo is there or Susie, John, Daniel, and Rivas. And we're going to start. The topic for tonight is how to use there is, there are four questions. We already have studied about this grammar point, the, the Friday, no, I'm sorry, Monday, before we went on vacations. So we have like a clear idea about what um, this stuff is going to be about. There is and there are but four questions. That's the topic for tonight. Okay, let's see. And uh, we have here Daniel, right? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Um, did you rest? Did you rest a little bit? The consist un poco last week. Yeah. Um. Uh, I rest in viernes. On Friday. Friday and Saturday. Okay, it sounds good. Okay, yeah, I like it. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, here we have maybe um, Gustavo. Hello, Gustavo. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay, now did you rest at night? Descansaste por lo menos las noches last week, uh, semana pasada. Yes, yeah. yes teacher. Uh, uh, Saturday. Okay, and especially on Saturday. That's nice. I like it. Katia, good evening. You look younger, te ves más joven. Te cayeron bien estas vacas. Hi. Thank you, teacher. Okay, uh, did you sleep? Descansaste, dormiste un poco? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's so the point. Yeah, I know. I know that all of you want to go to bed early. Quieren ir a la cama temprano, but I know that for, because of the classes are, well, it's difficult, but thank you for being here. I like i like to see you all, my friends. Thank you. Katia and Maritza, I don't know if Maritza is there. Susie or Rivas, I don't know. Guillermo. If not, we're going to start with this. Uh, this is the topic, how to use the is and there are four questions. Okay. Um, we have the first activity. We have to write three things at home you can use. There is or there are. For example, you can say this. There is a sofa. Oh, there are chairs. There are curtains. Okay, so this is just an example. You can select uh, whatever you have around you. It can be from the living room, from the uh, dining room. No problem, okay? Text uh, three things using there is or there are things at home, things that you have at home, okay? I'm going to wait a little bit and then we start with the, well, with the tenant list. So let's listen. So I'm going to be waiting for the answers, especially for Rivas, Susie, Maritza, okay, John, Guillermo. I know that we're going to have all of your answers. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds.
Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's listen to some of you. Uh, let's talk about things you have at home. Okay. For example, maybe we can start with Daniel and then Guillermo. Okay, Daniel. Uh, tell me what you have at home. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, uh, there are fan electric. There are table. There are hamacas. Okay, hamacas. Okay, yes, tables. Yeah, electric fan. Very nice. Thank you. And uh, what about Guillermo and then Maritza? Hi, Guillermo. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, there is a microwave. There are spoons. There is a washing machine. Okay. That's nice. Thank you. Yeah, I guess the washing machines are so important because you can save time and especially water. And also soap or, or detergent because washing machines are really useful. Uh, Marita. Ah, Marita. Estás de... Misteriosa, you're a mysterious girl. Hi. No. <laughs> Hello. No. Hello there. There okay. are doors. Mm -hmm. There is a dining room. There is a refrigerator. Okay, thank you. Yeah, dining room. That's so important. Thank you. Uh, let's yes. listen to Katia and then Susie. Okay, there is a table, there is a TV, there are plants. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, Susie and then John. Okay, there is a fan, there is uh, flowers, uh, there are flowers, and there is a sofa. Okay, that's it. Thank you. John, if you are there, and then Gustavo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hello. everyone. Um, is it's my house there. Um, there are many plants. There are some pictures. There are three television. Oh, perfect. There are three television. That's good. Okay. Um, yeah. we go with Gustavo and Rivas. Okay, teacher. Uh, there are some windows. There is a table. There are beds. Thank you. Very important. You can use there are with plural. There are beds, or you can use uh, some other words. For example, some window. So that's correct. Thank you. Rivas, are you there, Rivas? Evening, teacher. There Hi. is a ball. There are three telephones. And there is a computer. Okay, so important. There is a computer. Thank you. Okay, um, I'm going to check the attendance list. Um, uh, here we have some language, telephone language, but in the third option, I know that is kind of uh, long, but you can use until here, until Friday, okay? No problem, because it is like very complicated to 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 read all of them okay so i'm going to check the attendance list you say hi hello good evening and please remember to mention uh, this phrases okay let's start uh, we're going to start with adi i know adi is not here right uh, Christy, I don't know if Christy is here. Hello, Christy. Okay, maybe not. Uh, Anna Luisa, I guess she's a listener. Okay, Andre, not here. Uh, Rivas, okay, Rivas, could you mention one of these? Hi. Thank you for calling Dr. Tim office. Our office hours are 9 a.m., 5 p.m., Monday, Friday. Okay. Ms. Carval during this. These hours. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, let's listen to Daniel, please, Daniel. Your turn, my friend. Hi. Present teacher. 
eh, del que está en círculo rojo, Leo. En puede cuadros. ser cualquiera de las tres, puede ser la primera también. Hello, you're rich. Hello, or... you. Hi, this, uh, this son. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not available to take your call at this time. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Very nice, Daniel. Uh, David, I guess David is not here. Evelyn, hi. Hi, teacher. Hello there. Thank okay. you for calling your time, mm. office, or office, or are like I in by p.m. Monday, Friday. Okay, thank you. Friday, that's okay. That's perfect, okay. And aquí le voy marcando mejor las opciones, así que ustedes pueden tener una mejor opción para leerlas, ¿ok? Para no leer tanto. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Guillermo. ¿Qué okay, Guillermo? Hey, teacher. Ok, my friend, please. Um, thank you for calling Dr. Tim's office. Our office hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. From Monday to Friday. Thank you. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, John, please. John. Okay. Here I am. Uh, good evening again. Um, I should... Hi, this is Sonia. Sona. Sona. Hmm, it oh, sounds like Sona. Strange. In Sona. Oh, That's the name Sona. of a girl. I'm sorry. I not. Yeah, I'm not available to take your call at this time. Thank you. Okay. What about if we now, Katia? Okay, Katia, please. Good evening. Uh, hi. hi. This is Zona. I'm sorry. I'm not about a Bible to take your call that is time. Okay, thank you. Wonderful. Maritza. Okay, Maritza, the mysterious girl. Your turn. Hi, this is Sona. I'm sorry, I'm not able to mm -hmm. take your call uh, this time. Okay, thank you. That's it. Perfect. Gustavo, you go. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, oh, good evening thank, again. Thank you. Thank you, you for calling Dr. Sting office or hours. Office uh, hours are 9 a.m. Uh, 5 p.m. Monday, Friday. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Oscar not here. Eduardo not here. Rosalie, I don't know if Rosalie is available. If not, we're going with Susie. Okay, Susie. Good evening. Hi, Hello. this is Sona. I, I'm sorry. I'm not avi available to take your call at this time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Christy, are you there? No sé si estás por ahí, Christy. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Okay, please. Good evening. Thank you. Okay, um, hello. You reach it two, 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 three, four, five, six. Please leave a message after the beep. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. So, this is just part of the telephone language when you listen to an answering machine. Okay, I noticed that you have some difficulties with this word. Available, available, available. Algunos dicen available. I prefer to say available, okay? Significa disponible, okay? 
disponible, available. Si gustan, if you want to, you can take notes. That is going to be really useful, okay? Available. There's another word like able. Capaz. Able. For example, I am not... I'm not able to swim. No soy capaz de nadar. I'm not able to swim. Es similar al can. Able. Similar en significado. So, able, available. Just for you to have an idea how to pronounce this, okay? Let's continue and, um, well, I guess this class is going to be really easy. Va a ser fácil y rápida esta clase. Okay. Um, okay, you tell me, let's answer this question. Do you usually receive business guests? ¿Recibes invitados de negocios in your workplace? Do you enjoy welcoming guests? Why? Mm, okay. Let's see. The thumb up, pulgar arriba, quienes reciben eh, a clientes en el trabajo, okay? Remember to thumb up like this. If you receive customers, clients, or guests, okay, Daniel does. Daniel si lo hace. Who else? Gustavo, okay, we have two. Okay. Two participants who receive um, guests, that's not so common for all the jobs, but, well, we're going to uh, listen this uh, conversation between Miss Jenner and Michael. Miss Jenner and Michael. Remember that we can say Miss. Que significa señorita, pero podemos decir de esta manera, ¿verdad? Eh, mayúscula y minúscula para contractar, ¿verdad? Como para abreviar, digamos. Pero igual significa Miss. Que es señorita. Ok. So let's listen here. Here we have. Uh, good morning. Are you. Ah, uh, a esta palabra. Are le hace falta una E. Perdón. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jen Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in there? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room in, is next to the training room. Otra equivocación acá. Acá debería decir is, no in. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about lounges or recreational places? Is there a lounge? Yes, it is uh, in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay, duty. Here we have duty. Here we have started. Or when the city started, started. Absolutely enough. Recuerden que cuando termina una palabra con G y H. El sonido es con F. Y no. Ok. So, uh, in, the, in this case. We're going to practice this. And uh, remember that in this case. Um, eh, supervisor on duty es como supervisor en cuestión o en el proyecto que se está realizando started, comenzado, enough, suficiente absolutamente, absolutamente eh, lunches ¿verdad? Eh, significa salones o salones recreacionales de hecho en algunos casos lunches son como salones como bar, salones bar ok let's practice uh, this and we're going to practice a couple of seconds. 
maybe one person can help me sending this uh, screenshot. Okay, please accept the request and then we come back. Remember to exchange, interchange uh, the dialogues so we can have more practice of different words. In this conversation, we can practice all the words that are there. See you in a moment. Lo vengo un momento. Christy, tell me. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you, Christy.
Okay, my friends, welcome back. Here we have this conversation. We're going to have two teams. So you can share what you practice in the breakout rooms. Maybe we may have um, Katia. Are you there, Katia? Hi. Yes, teacher. Okay, you were practicing with John, right? Yes. Okay, John, are you there? Yeah. Okay, please go ready? ahead, my friends. Okay. okay. Katia, let's oh. start you. Yes. Good morning, Arjun Michael Perez. Good morning, and um, yes, I am. My name is Jen Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ms. Jenner. Let's get the start. Is there a conference room in here? And so, um, it's so. Are there enough seat for listener? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about laundry of recreational places? Is there a laundry? Long yes, it is from of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay, nice. In front of the cafeteria. Thank you. Sure. Aunque suena mejor café, ¿verdad? Pero cafeteria is like, yeah, people use it normally. Thank you, John and Katia. Very nice pronunciation. I like it. Let's listen. Maybe Susie can help us. Susie, you were practicing with Maritza, I guess. Maritza. Yeah, yes. that, that's, that's right. Okay. Could you do it, please? Comienza, Maris. Okay. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jen Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the raining room. Raining room. It. Got it. How about lounges or recreational places? Is there a lounge? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building. Wing. Thank you very much. Yeah, did it perfectly. Thank you, my friends. Okay, let's move here. So easy, complete the questions about the conversation. So uh, here we have one and two. Maybe we can have the participation of Guillermo. That's so easy. Here we have question one and two. Okay. Um, cualquiera, teacher. Yeah. One or two. We have to add the verb okay. here at the beginning. Okay. Um, is, is there a conference room? Okay, yeah. Is there? Thank you. Do you remember in the conversation if we had a conference room? Um... Yes, is next to the training room. That's perfect. Thank you. Okay, we continue with number two. In this case, Rivas, could you help me, please? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Number one. Are there are there no CS for listener? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, and if we go back to the conversation. Let's see. Yes, absolutely. The conference room in next to the training room. Okay. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. That's perfect. Thank you. So if you notice uh, most of the answers that we have here, well, for the questions, uh, you can find them on the conversation. Okay. Look at this. Uh, this is another form to express wishes. Okay. 
um, there is a song, a famous song for Christmas. We wish you Merry Christmas. We wish you Merry Christmas. That's very common. Te deseamos una feliz Navidad. But in this case, we use wish. Imagine you have a genie. Okay. Genius is a person that is so intelligent that can, that, well, who has a lot of abilities, but Guinea, it's like a mythical creature that can provide three wishes, like Aladdin's, Al Aladdin's genie, como el genio de Aladdin. So that's different. Genius, a person that is intelligent, a lot of abilities, but genie, it's a magical uh, person. Okay, so in this case here, imagine you have a genie. So, when you want to express a wish, you have to start saying, I wish. But if you want to say something about Barbie, quiero ser millonario. I wish I were. I wish I were millionaire. Okay. I wish I were president of USA. Okay. So in this case, what you are saying is that that is your wish. Desearía ser millonario. Desearía ser el presidente de Estados Unidos. Okay. Teacher, but if you want to say here, it is not better to say was, yes. Pueden decir, I wish I was, ¿verdad? Pero lo, como la, una canción de Pearl Jam, que así dice, I wish I was. But in this case, the most common is, I wish I were. Si utilizan el was, sería como un pequeño caliche que estamos utilizando, ¿ok? Más informal. But in this case, si quieren mencionar, eh, desearía estar en algún lugar, desearía ser. I wish I were, that's it. I wish I were in Australia. I wish I were in Africa. Desearía estar en, Af en Africa. Okay, now, what about the other verbs? I wish I had. Desearía tener. Yo sé que ustedes tienen la idea de I wish I have, but no. Se utilizan los verbos en pasado. I wish I had five horses. Desearía o deseo tener cinco caballos. Why? I don't know. But you can say, I wish I had. Now, the other verbs. I wish. I traveled to Europe. I wish I traveled to Europe. Okay? So. I want to know your wishes. Imagine you, yeah, you have like a genie in front of you and you have your wishes. I don't know if you have a clear idea about this. Tienen dudas con respecto a eso? Es algo práctico pedir deseos. Lo difícil es que se cumpla. But, okay, imagine you can have a lot of ideas about having money, traveling, visiting, um, or being something, okay? I need you to have your three wishes here, all of you, at once, de un solo, okay? I like to hear all of your wishes, okay? So, I wish I was, I wish I were, I wish I had, I wish I traveled. Um... I wish I saw an eclipse. Desearía ver o deseo ver un eclipse. Yeah. The verb in the past. Remember, it can be a verb press, uh, regular or irregular. But the most common is I wish I, I were or I wish I had. Desearía tener. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's listen to your wishes in the chat, okay? 
I'm going to give you a couple of seconds and let's read some of your wishes. I get it's better when you text it because you are writing. It is something different. It is good when you say it, but it is important to write. Remember that we use a lot of reading skills. We speak a lot here in this class. We speak a lot. We listen because we practice and you listen to me, but the maybe the skill that we work less is writing. So that's why I am uh, encouraging you to write more. Okay, I'm going to wait for your answers here in the chat. I guess they are going to be kind of easy. If you want to have another job, I wish I had an, yeah, another, uh, a better job. I wish I had a pet. I don't know. Depends on you. Okay, I'm going to wait in the chat. Okay, I guess these answers are going to be like kind of interesting because uh, you have like a lot of creativity. So, Daniel, let's start with you. Could okay. you read yours? Um, okay, if I had three wishes, I would like to be in Oklahoma, travel, to Arabia, and I wish I had a Maserati car. Okay, then wish number three is like correctly. The other words are I wish uh, I were in Oklahoma. I wish I traveled to Arabia. Okay, Arabia, interesting. And 
a Maserati. Okay, Maserati, really good choice for a car. Thank you. Uh, Evelyn, and then we go with Tracy. Okay, Evelyn. I wish I were hell. Mm -hmm. I wish I were money. I will love. Okay, maybe the number two, I wish I have. Desearía tener, right? Porque si no sería, desearía ser dinero. I or no. But yeah, maybe sí. number two. I wish I had. And the other, I wish I, I wish, uh, okay. Number three, I wish I had love or I wish I were in love. Desearía tener amor o estar enamorada. That's different. But I'm going to write it. Lo voy a escribir. Thank you, Evelyn. Christy and then Rosalie. Perfect. Okay. My three wishes. Number one, I wish I had my own house. Yeah, definitely. Number two, I wish I wish I traveled to the other side of the world. Mm -hmm. And number three, I wish I saw the northern lights. Mm, Aurora Boreal. Yeah, they well, I have seen just pictures, definitely. But it is a, yeah, it's a majestic uh, show, right? Yeah, so beautiful. Yeah, yeah yes. so beautiful. Thank you, good point. Mm, Rosalie and John. Okay, Rosalie. Mm -hmm. My wish, my wishes is, mm -hmm. first, I wish I was in South Korea. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wish to see the northern light. Okay. And I wish um, I wear millionaire. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah, nobody's going to, to say no to this. Thank you, Rosalie. You like South Korea. Hmm. Interesting. Good the country to visit. Thank you. John, and then we go with Katia. Okay. Um... My first wish, um, I wish I had a lot of money. Uh -huh. uh, my second wish, I wish I were always healthy. Yeah. And finally, um, I wish I never died. Oh, okay. <laughs> never die, like Highlander. <laughs> Thank you, John the Highlander. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you could see a lot of things in history. Okay, John. Nice. Interesting wishes. Let's listen now to Katia and then Maritza. Okay, Katia. Okay. I wish live in, in Japan. I wish I have a cafeteria. I wish to graduate with honor for the university. Okay, thank you. But in the number one, I wish I lived in pasado. Number two, I wish I had in pasado. Okay. Yeah, good point. A cafeteria, I guess it is a nice business to have. Okay. Thank you. Interesting. Maritza and Eduardo. I wish I had wisdom to make the right decisions. I wish I had many money. Mm -hmm. Much money, I'm, okay. Mm -hmm. I wish I traveled to the world. Yes, travel to the world. That's always a good idea. Okay, thank you. Yeah, very interesting. Your first wish. I I wish I had wisdom. Uh, normally, we take decisions in like really fast, or we we don't think twice. It's like we have we rule well we are ruled by our emotions, but if you have wisdom, you are always going to take good decisions. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maritza. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I wish to have much money, of course, of course. Uh, Eduardo, please, my friend. Hi. Hi, teacher. Uh, my my wish is I wish I had a Ford Mustang. I yeah. wish I went to travel to La Patagonia and I wish to spoke with an important artist. Mm -hmm. Why not? Yeah, for Mustang is my favorite car. 
definitely. Thank you, Me Eduardo. Too. Yeah, so nice, so beautiful. Yes, a, a yes. beautiful machine. Thank you. Okay, Um, I don't know if Guillermo is there or Gustavo to express your wishes. Yes, teacher. Okay, my friend, please, let's listen. Mm, let me see. I wish I were a millionaire. Okay. I wish I had eternal life. And I wish I lived in other country. Okay, in other country. Good. Thank you. Um, Gustavo, I don't know, Gustavo or Rivas, if you're ready. Okay, teacher, I wish war peace, yeah, I wish to be an astronaut. An astronaut, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Interesting wishes. Uh, Gustavo? Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what I about wish, you? I wish I was sleeping. I wish I could speak English. Oh, yes. Yes, why not <laughs> sleeping? Thank you. Here we have Adi. Hello, Adi. Um, I'm glad that we can see your message. Okay. I wish I were rich. I wish... I have a new car. Definitely, we all of us would like to have a new car and wish to visit France. I wish I visited France. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, we're going to continue uh, with this. Let me check here. We have, look at this. Okay, how to use there is and there are in questions. It's very easy. Look at the words in bold, lo que está en negrita, bold, and complete the statement in the box, okay? I would like you to read some of them. We're going to start with Daniel. Daniel, can you read um, number one and two, please? Daniel, please read number... Okay. Number one, is there a meeting room in your company? Mm-hmm. Number two, is there a trend, treatment plan, plant in your workplace? Okay, that's it. Yeah, treatment plant. Thank you. Okay, let's listen to number three and four. Uh, Maritza, please help me with three and four. Are there enough? Are there enough representatives? Mm -hmm. Are there many restrooms in your work? Okay. I know that this is funny, but number four, it's so important. That's so basic to have enough restrooms or bathrooms. Because uh, imagine after having lunch or before uh, you go to lunch or break, people are, uh, they get up, they stand up from the offices or from some other places. And yeah, that's a really good idea to have many restrooms. Okay. And here we have this part. To ask singular questions, we use. To ask plural questions, we use. Okay, let's listen. I don't know if we have Susie there. Susie, are you there? Yes. Okay, have you noticed what words uh, we have to use for singular questions? So, see? Las palabras Sorry. que se... Uh -huh. Is, is there? Okay, yeah, is there. And what about plural? Are there. Uh -huh. Easy, right? So, these are the words uh, or the, the question form. Thank you. Let's move to this. Now, here we have some exercises. Look, um, here we have is look the this is the 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 exercise. Is there a conference room in your company? Yes, there is one. It's next to the manager's office. Look at this. 
Is there a conference room in your company? Yes, there is one. It's next to the manager's office. So this is the short answer. Esta es la respuesta corta. Yes, there is one. Sí, hay una. And then here we have the complete answer. Tenemos la, la respuesta completa que ya da detalles. You can have details on this. Okay. And let's listen to the, well, here we have number two, three, and four. I'd like you to help me, Eduardo. Could you help me with question number two, three, or four? And then Rosalie. Depends. Select one of these. Remember that here we have the, the, the words that we're going to use. Training rooms, one side clinic, restroom. Okay. Okay, Eduardo, teacher. What number? Sí. Number two. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was. Okay. Because, uh -huh. uh, Question. There are. Question. Yes. Are. Are there. Training rooms. Mm -hmm. In. In okay. your company. Yeah, it could be in your company. Okay, yeah. Teacher. Yes. Um, ah. Aha, uh, una duda. <laughs> uh, yes. Clinic, clinic is my spell, right? Ah, yeah, clinic. Mm. Okay. Thank you. If you notice this uh, clinic, have you noticed yes, that this yes. manual has like some misspelled? It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Yes. Yeah, but thank you. Thank you for noticing. I, di I didn't notice. Okay, thank you. Susie, could you help me with number three or four? I know, uh, Rosalie. Rosalie, three or four. And then maybe we can have Chris. Number, number three. Number three. Is there? Mm -hmm. Is there on on site clinic? Oh, okay. Okay, and Christy, number four. If not, maybe we, okay. we can have, yeah, Christy, number four, yes. please. Are there? Mm -hmm. um, are there? Many? Oh. Ah, many. Mm. Many what? Donde? Inside the building. Mm -hmm. Or in the building. Inside oh, yeah. or in the building. Okay. So this is the question. Are there many restrooms in the building? And this person says, yes, there are five restrooms inside the building. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is to create some questions. Look at this. Write five questions asking about places that work. Use their is there and are there? Okay, maybe we're not going to write five questions, but maybe we can write at least two questions. Escríbame dos preguntas con respecto al trabajo. For example, you can say, is, is there a garage in your company? Okay, that's one example. You can write it here. Okay. So I need two questions. Uh, dos preguntas. Uh, is there um, an electric plant in your company? Are there supervisors? Are there treatment plants? Are there... Or is there enough water? 
Is there drinking water? Hay agua para beber. Because there are some uh, worst places that they don't have it. Mm, yeah. Are there trucks or cars in your company? So let's uh, ask questions about this, okay? Just two. Two questions, please. Okay, here I have some examples. You can have some other. And after this, y después de esto, nos vamos con la canción que, si no me equivoco, le corresponde a. Let me check. Luisa, a ti te me toca, ¿verdad? Ah, Guillermo. Y yeah, a Guillermo me salté algunos porque me habían estado. Thank you, Guillermo. Are you ready with your with the the part of your song? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I know you can do it, my friend. Okay, let's wait a couple of seconds. Uh, let's read some of these questions and then we go with your song. Okay. Okay, here we have some questions. 
Let's read them. We're going to start with Guillermo and then Daniel, please. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Are mm -hmm. there, right? Yes, are there training rooms in your company? And the second one is there is a game room in your company. <laughs> that could be really, but really good. Thank you, Guillermo. And genial, and then Maritza. Okay, number one. Are there many many employees in your company? Mm -hmm. Number two, is there a toilet? Is there a toilet in your company? Okay. Maritza and Rivas. Are there computers in your work? Mm -hmm. Is there a parking lot in your company? Yeah, parking lot so so basic, elementary. Thank you, Rivas, and then Rosalie. Is there an office in your city? Are three three are three are there three buildings in your neighborhood? Good, but in the first one, is there an office? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rivas. Nice. Uh, Rosalie and Eduardo. Uh, is there a coffee station in your workplace? Mm -hmm. Are there lockers in your company? Yeah, lockers are really useful. And that's something that a lot of companies should have it. Right? But, well. And Eduardo and Gustavo. Okay. Uh, is there a garage in your house? Are there any football field in your neighborhood? Okay, thank you. And Gustavo and John. Okay, teacher. Are, are there many cars in, in your company? Mm -hmm. Is there a manager in your company? Yeah, that's it. Thank you. John, your turn. Okay. Um, is, there, is there a basketball coat at work? Mm -hmm. Is there a fire system in your company? Mm -hmm. That's nice. Thank you. Evelyn and Adi. Okay, Evelyn, are there? Um, are there a power plant at your work? Mm -hmm. There is a System as you were. But in the second one, is there is there a water system? Thank you. Uh, Adi, could you read it? Okay, if not, let's listen to Christy and then Susie. Yes, hey, teacher. Thank yes. you. Are there gardens at your workplace? And is there a snake machine? Okay. And what about Susie? Is there audiovisual audiovisual rooms in your work? Mm -hmm. And solo esa había puesto. Uh, are there uh, many trees in your work? Are there many trees? Thank you. That's, that's it. Okay. And uh, we move now to what's the name of this song. And here we have Guillermo to explain what he has prepared. And uh, Guillermo, uh, you tell me if uh, you are like, if you are ready. Uh, yes, I'm ready. Okay. You can share now. Okay. Mm. 
Uh, you can see. Yeah. Yeah, th see. there is a, mm -hmm. a blog note, right? A blog note. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have to sing this song, teacher. No, uh, just read. Just read like normal. Just read, for example, gave you all I had and you toss it, okay? Not okay, okay. It. okay. And then you can uh, show what word. It's a verb, a noun, an adjective. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I forgot that part. <laughs> No problem. I only did the, the verb. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We're going to find some other words. Go ahead. Okay. It gave you all I had and you tossed it in the trash. You tossed it in the trash. You did to give me all. You love is all I never ask. Because you don't understand. I don't know if I have to put uh, a little bit more of the song. Mm, if you want, you, you you can. Yeah, you can show more. But if not, you are okay. And you can underline if you want some words that you want to show. For example, if you want to show verbs, it's okay. Show the verbs. Because I, I well, I write the, the verbs. Okay, please. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, for example, gave, those, did, ask is in simple past. Okay, simple past. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, for example, uh, had Have. is past perfect. Okay. Uh, give, love, understand is present simple. Okay. Simple thanks. present. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, maybe some other uh, words that we can identify. It's, for example, the word you. It's a pronoun, okay? And if we have, for example, in, it's a, uh, could it be like a preposition, okay? And the other, could it be, for example, yeah, understand no it's a verb mm -hmm. what is a wh question okay uh honestly i don't i don't have any, an idea about this song if it is a, from a band from a singer a man a woman i don't know i don't know if uh, the participants have an idea maybe rosalie because she knows a lot of music no, teacher, no. Uh -huh. I don't. I don't. Okay, maybe Guillermo can. Okay, can you give us Guillermo a clue about this? Is it a band from United States, from England? No, uh, it's it's from a man. From a man. Okay. It's a. It's a singer. Singer. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a rock, singer. Ballad. It's punk, reggae, and rock. I don't know. Romantic, ska, punk, jazz. Any idea? Mm. Okay, it's from United States. Yes. From the Mars. Yes, of course. Oh. Okay, what what's the name of this song? It sounds like like Bruno. Grenade. Okay, yeah, I guess I had an idea, okay? Yeah. Good, thank you. Well, um, if you notice, no problem. It's not like a big, deal, a big deal about this, okay? So I'm going to mark here that uh, Guillermo already helped us with the song. And I'm going to select uh, for the other person. Maybe we can have, okay. What about John? Can you help us for tomorrow? Yes, of course. I John. will be a pleasure. <laughs> nice. I yeah. know that John has like a, a lot of songs in his list. <laughs> I can imagine that John has a lot of playlists <laughs> because he likes to listen to a lot of 
music, right? No. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So uh, remember for the rest of the participants who, who are waiting uh, for having an opportunity, we want to, uh, as Guillermo said, and he used past, present, or yeah, especially past, uh, present, uh, simple or perfect to uh, detail uh, the verbs. But you can also uh, include, for example, if the uh, song has adjectives, you can say it. adverbs, uh, if the verbs are regular, irregular, if we have articles or pronouns, of course, you can do it, right? So for tomorrow, we're going to have um, like John, okay? And now we're going to go to the last part of this um, class. We have just two more um, activities and here we have this. And here we have a grammar worksheet about there is and there are. We obviously know how to use there is and there are for the affirmatives. Look at this. Okay. And these are affirmatives. And here we have the negatives. Algo bien importante. Some lo utilizamos para las oraciones afirmativas. Ya que tenemos acá la palabra any. Ok, ahora, some significa algunos. Any significa ninguno. Si quieren hablar de negativas, pero si quieren hablar de preguntas, significa algunos. Ok, por ejemplo, si pregunto, is there any bathroom? ¿Hay algún baño? Is there any? Estoy utilizando any. Es, como les digo, para pregunta, algún. Pero si me quieren decir que no hay ninguno, there is not any bathroom, or there aren't any bathrooms, ¿ok? Some significa algunos. Obviously, we're going to use some for affirmatives. There are some bathrooms, there are some employees, there are some computers, ¿ok? Eso sería, bueno, if you want to, to take notes, you can do it. Some significa algunos. It's for affirmative sentences. Any, ninguno, y también significa algunos. But ninguno se refiere a las oraciones negativas, algunos, para las preguntas. Ok. And here we have this. And, let's, and here we have the questions that you already know how to use. It. Is there a pen on the table? Are there two pens on the table? Okay. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Okay. Podemos utilizar contracciones, ¿verdad? There is, there's. ¿Verdad? And there are, there are. Okay. Um, let's move this. The worksheet. Y después vamos a terminar. Con esto. Uh, 15 sentences. Lo voy a, vamos a trabajar en equipo. And then we come back to... Um, Share your answers. Vamos a regresar a compartir eh, las respuestas que ustedes tienen. Okay. And I need to have a screenshot and I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms, please. Thank you, John. Thank you for sharing. And see you in a couple of uh, minutes, maybe in eight or seven minutes, en siete, ocho minutos. Trabajamos esto y luego regresamos, okay? See you in a moment. Please accept the request and let's work in teams.
Christy, I need you to accept the request, please. Eduardo as well. Ah, no. Eduardo in a moment. It's here. Okay, Eduardo, please. Thank you, that's nice. Eduardo and Kathy, you can. Thank you very much.
Okay. Um, let's see what we have here. Uh, from 3 to 15. Number one says there is a library next to the park. And number two says all the students went home. There aren't, uh, there aren't any students in the classroom. As I was explaining to you, any, it's for negative sentences. And it means ninguno. No, come on. Okay, so as I told you before, uh, the word any is for negatives. All the students went home. There aren't any students in the classroom. So that's it. And let's see number three to 15, raise your hand or uh, show thumb up for uh, participating. Uh, Rosalie, you want to be the first, okay? Let's move. The number three. Mm -hmm. There are five. <laughs> mm -hmm. There are fifty states in the United States. Okay, nice. But I guess we have fifty-one states. Creo que cincuenta y un estados. But okay, let's no. Uh, no, there are fifty. Yes. Okay, yes. fifty. So well, that's nice. There are. 50 states in the United States. Okay, thank you, John, for confirming that information. Thank you, Rosalie. Antes que te la gane. Better. Guillermo, please. Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, number four. Mm -hmm. There, no, there aren't polar bears at the South Pole. Okay. Uh, aren't polar bears in the South Pole? Okay, that's a negative. Thank you, Guillermo. Uh, who else? Remember, we have number five, from five to number 15. Uh, Evelyn. Okay, please select one. Number five. Number five. Mm -hmm. There are a uh, message for me. No, there aren't any. Okay, I guess it's like it is singular, como es singular. Is there a message for me? No. ¿Cuál sería la negativa para singular, Evelyn? No, there. No, there aren't. Casi, isn't. Porque es singular. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es que le pregunta, ¿hay algún o hay un mensaje para mí? No, no hay. Okay, no, there isn't. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. Pero si fuera messages... Ah, easy theory, totalmente. Thank you. Okay, from 6 to 15, maybe we can have some other participations like Marita, John, Eduardo. Number six. Okay, let's move. Why are there so many cars in the parking lot? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Why are there so many cars in the parking lot? Thank you. Uh, John. Okay, number, let me see. Number eight. Number eight. How, how many days are there in March 24, mm -hmm. 21? Thank you. Yeah. 30 or 31, yeah, in March. Thank you. And we can have some other participations. Hey, Eduardo. Okay, uh, number seven. Please. I'm hungry. There is a restaurant across the street. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, and we have some others here. Uh, Daniel, Rivas, Gustavo. The number nine. Please. The, there, is a, there is a few things I have to do this afternoon. Mm -hmm. 
Gracias. Aunque aquí a few things significa unos pocos. Yo sé que es plural y que según la idea tendría que ser are, pero la frase es a few. Entonces cuando se dice a few es como unos pocos, pero si sí se utiliza verdad esto. Ok. And just give me a second. Ok. Um, let's move with who else? Maybe Rivas, Gustavo. Number Christy. 10, teacher. Number 10. Okay. Is there a post office nearby? Mm -hmm. Sería nearby. Yes, but that's correct. Nearby. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I don't know. Totally correct. Thank you. Okay, Christy, Susie. Okay, the number 12. Please. Um, no. Mm -hmm. There are not, but they aren't. Okay. No, there aren't public holidays next. Any. Uh, Ok, that's sí, it. Sí. Ajá, eh, una consulta. En la sentence number two, uh -huh. um, eh, de any, no use en the sentence number four, there aren't any polar beers. Ya, yeah. no. bears, bears, porque beers son cervezas. Bears. Estamos en lunes. Ah, okay. perdón, si ahora apenas es lunes, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Of course, yo pensé, okay. yo pensé que era oso. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, birds. Okay, birds. this is a confusing okay. word. Mm -hmm. Look, look at this. Yeah, you can say there aren't any. If you use any, you are specifying. Estás especificando que no hay ninguno, de verdad. Ah. But there aren't, but of course you can use it. Uh, you can emphasize, okay? And here we have bear. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Y yeah, cuando uh, usamos el many. <coughs> mm -hmm. Muchos. Ah, ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Sería de esta manera. Bear. Luego tenemos beard. Aquí es bird. Y aquí es beer. Beer. Entonces, la pronunciación de acá en pájaro es como que si no hubiera una I. Escuchen bien. Bird. Bird. La primera es bear. Bear. La S es uh -huh. como beard. Con de beard. Y aquí es uh -huh. bird. Fíjense la diferencia. Beard. Bird. Y esta no lleva ninguna uh -huh. de. Beer. Oigan, beer. Okay. Beer. Entonces, la más fácil de pronunciar es oso, bear y oso. cerveza. Bear. Beer. Fácil beer. de pronunciar. Uh -huh. okay. Las que confunden un poco son estas. Bird, porque lleva la de bird. Y esta, bird. Uh -huh. Bird. Pero así estamos. Ok. Ok, so thank, thank you. Thank you for, for that comment. That's correct. You can say any. Uh -huh. um, here we have also 11... 13, 14, and 15. Uh, what if we listen? I can go with 11, teacher. Adi, I la I'm glad to hear you. Please, 11. <laughs> and that will be uh, 11. Is mm -hmm. there something I can help you with? That's perfect. And I recommend you to write this question. It's a very important question. Is there something I can help you with? Algo en lo que te pueda ayudar. Ok. Thank you. Perfect. Ok. Three more. And for this one, uh, we can listen to. Well, Kathy is not available. Teacher number 13. Is... Please. How many countries are there in the world? Mm -hmm. Are there in the world? Thank you. Ok. 14 and 15. Just to finish this, Hi, maybe. We... Okay, Gustavo. 
Uh, number 14. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a woman in picture. She is uh, smiling. Okay, she's smiling. Okay, yeah, she's smiling. There is a woman in the picture. She's smiling. Thank you. And finally, number 15. Maybe we can have Maritza. The last one, please. Could you help me? There are only three more days before the exam. Let's study. Let's study. Thank you. There are. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. We finished uh, this and you did it really good. Remember that these are exercises for you to have a better idea how to apply uh, the reason there are in the platform so you can have better grades. Thank you, but I guess you're ready. Okay, we have like a couple of seconds. Talk about environmental problems. I know um, you have some ideas, but the time is uh, passing by so quickly. Está pasando demasiado rápido el tiempo. So uh, to finish uh, this, maybe you can state the name of the problem here in the chat. For example, if you consider it's garbage, if you consider it is like um, uh, smoke, uh, pollution in the rivers, okay? So I, I need you to write like in short, Pueden escribir en una línea o solo establecer cuál es el problema ambiental. It could be for the people, for the factories. For example, you can say this. One example. Dirty rivers because of the factories. Okay. Yeah, Guillermo says garbage in a lot of places. Okay. I'm going to wait for your answers. Espero su respuesta. Well, um, you have really good, uh, you know that in this part, everybody has to speak about or talk about this topic. 
Uh, unfortunately, we don't have too much time because the class is passing by so quickly. So I'm going to read just uh, what you said. Guillermo mentioned uh, garbage in a lot of places. Unfortunately, that happens, especially in these holidays in Santa Ana in July, in San Salvador in August. Yeah, people visit a lot of places, but when they go, they come back home, there are a lot of garbage. Daniel says, people think that voting for tries in the streets is not bad, mm -hmm. especially adults. Eduardo, the bad distribution and design of buildings, you can notice uh, in the urban areas, a lot of, it's crowded, super general. Evelyn says, throw garbage everywhere. Yeah, John, deforestation. Yeah, and that's one of the first reasons or main reasons why uh, the weather is changing so much. Christy says, the overpopulation, construction uh, of houses and lots of vegetation. Mm -hmm. Overpopulation, especially here in Salvador, that this is like a very small country. Maritza, water and air contamination because of factories. Yeah. Rivas, in my opinion, the culture and education of people Similar to the, the other ideas, of course. Thank you. Ah, the air pollution from vehicle smoke. And if you notice, we have a lot of motorbike, motorcycles, or cars. Too many. Rosalie, garbage, deforestation, and harmful substances from factories. Yeah, the rivers. Definitely. So see, the overpopulation of aquifers and river bases, pollution. Gustavo considers that environmental problems occur due to the lack of environmental culture of people. Yeah, that's it. Well, thank you for expressing your ideas. I guess all of you have an interesting point. So, we can have Adi. Are you there, Adi? Adi, hello. Here I am. Okay, thank you. Could you have your um session one and one? Te puedes quedar al final de la clase, please. Okay, Adi, espero que sí. Te quedas un momento y, y hablo contigo para aprovechar la sesión uno a uno. Okay. El resto, toma pulgar arriba y de esa manera paso lista. Okay. Eh, siempre en el chat, ¿verdad? No como reacción, ¿verdad? Recuerden, thumb up. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Y me quedo good solo night. con Adi, ¿ok? Have good night. Pasen feliz noche. Eh, John viene mañana a cantar. Okay? Okay. Don't, don't forget there, there's a, <laughs> a concert <Okay>. tour. <laughs> bye bye. See you bye tomorrow. Bye bye, bye, bye my tomorrow. friends. See you tomorrow. Work on the platform. Thank Nine. you. I'm going to check the attendance list at the end. Okay, please leave uh, your thumb up. Okay, thank you. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit with Adi. Bye bye, my friends. See you. Okay, Adi, uh, tú sabes que eso es bastante corto, ¿verdad? Este, ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Sí. Bien, bien. También por aquí, un poco cansada. Ok, me imagino. Este, ¿Qué tal con la plataforma? ¿Has estado trabajando más o menos? He tenido problemas para entrar a la plataforma, de hecho. Eh, uh -huh. voy a, porque intenté ahora y me dice que tengo problemas para ingresar, que como que se vence la, la, la contraseña. Mañana voy a conversar con, con, ¿cómo se llama? Marisol, creo que se llama. Sí. La encargada porque sí, sí. no me okay. no me está dejando ingresar ahora a la plataforma mm -hmm. ok Adi tú no estuviste conmigo en el módulo pasado ¿verdad? no no verdad no ok eres compañera de Susi o de Cris me parece sí no ajá ok muy bien este consultarte eh si tienes dificultades con el tema de participación durante la clase. Eh, también tienes otros En algunos cursos? momentos, 
Sí, exactamente, sí. Es que estoy llevando otras clases, entonces a veces se me complica un poco en algunos momentos la participación, pero por eso he estado así como que escuchando y a ver si comentamos con, con Marisol. De hecho, no iba a llevarlo, pero como ya estaba la inscripción, entonces ah, no he podido dale. suspenderlo. Ok, uh -huh. sí. Este, ya estamos casi a la mitad del, del curso, de hecho. Ajá, entonces, este, sí. ¿verdad? Solo nos faltan, ¿qué? Tres clases más y estamos a la mitad del curso. Entonces, este, si gusta, podemos hacer lo siguiente. De uh -huh. las dos horas que dura la clase, ¿cuánto tiempo podrías participar? ¿Algún estimado? Es incierto porque lo que pasa es que es incierto por las por la otra por la otra curso que llevo entonces eh, quizá de los no no es por no es por tiempo sino más bien por día porque podría ser el día martes el día jueves podría estar más pendiente en la participación por lo menos en la primera en la primera hora vaya entonces sugiero que hagamos lo siguiente eh, no sé si te has dado cuenta, de, pero... De los otros, perdón, los otros días, quizá más activo, ya desde la nueve y media en adelante, para uh -huh. los siguientes días. Vaya, entonces podemos hacer lo siguiente. Uh -huh. um, los días que tú me mencionas que puedes estar activa, entonces, eh, digamos la primera hora de ocho a nueve, puede ser un ejemplo, eh, tú eh, ¿Sí? escribe tu nombre así, Adi Reyes, tal cual. Cuando tú no uh -huh. puedas participar, eh, agrega la palabra entre paréntesis oyente, ¿ok? Ok. Así, así como te lo acabo de cambiar ahorita, ¿sí? Entonces, Muy cuando, bien. cuando yo vea esa palabra así como oyente, no te voy a consultar, ni te voy a preguntar. Ah, muy bien. Cuando no la vea, sí, sí. ¿verdad? Entonces, sí te voy a preguntar. ¿Verdad? Entonces, cuando yo vea, por ejemplo, así, que está solo Adi Reyes, entonces yo sí te consulto. Digo esto por varias razones. La primera es que vas a aprender más. Eh, si te das cuenta, mis clases sí, son claro. más, 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 de, más de participación. Yo les paso preguntando a cada rato. Entonces, eso genera sí, parte de sí. fluidez, uh -huh, mejora la pronunciación y te eh, genera más seguridad al hablar. Entonces, mi curso... Sí es gramática, sí es eh, practicar conversaciones, pero vas, les pregunto bastante. Para que eh, estas dos horas no las pasen, o sea, es, es pesado, pueden sentirla aburrida. Entonces, esa es ajá, la, la principal razón. Entonces, si gusta, podemos hacer eso, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Porque también el hecho de que tú no participes, quieras o no, hace que los demás... Eh, incide en el en el en los ánimos se ha eh, recortado un maestro no sé si hay algún problema en la conexión mía o suya porque casi no le escucho ok ahora qué tal ahora se escucha ahora sí ahora Ajá. sí entonces eh, lo que te comentaba es que si tú participas este quieras hacer uno, aunque sí. no lo parezca pero motivas a la clase porque están participando más entonces ayuda al ambiente ajá, de, de la clase. Siempre los aportes de todos son importantes. Entonces, si gustas, podemos hacer eso, Adi, para que no estés así. Se cortó, digamos. maestro. Maestro, perdone, pero se uh -huh. le volvió a cortar. ¿Y ahora? Se volvió. Se volvió. Ahora sí, okay. ahora sí. Pero... Vale. Uh -huh. Entonces, si gusta, quedamos así con las indicaciones que te di. Ahora sí. Ajá. Ahora sí. Escucho. Vaya. Ok, entonces quedamos así, Adi, entonces uh, Mucho, agradecería, perdón. no hay problema, ok, pero por okay, lo menos está bien. Uh -huh. quedamos así y cuando puedas pues bueno. participa que les dé mucha ayuda. Eso sería todo entonces, Adi, nos veremos mañana, ok. Ok, pasa feliz noche, bye bye. Gracias, feliz noche. Feliz noche. Bye.